Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? It's Pavino. You know, I'm actually kind of look far and kind of look like I'm looking down because I am. <laughs> um, I'm actually on my tablet, not on my computer because my computer is um, acting up a little bit. So, uh, there's a lot to talk about. Um, first and foremost, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. I know I look a mess and I always look a mess. Because I just can't find that time to actually do my hair and do what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what to look. If I look over here, then I'm just, I don't know what to look. I think I'm just going to look right in the middle. <laughs> I know I look a little crazy. My eyes so dark. I'm tired. I feel hot. I think my house is a little warm in here. <sighs> Alright, so I just emailed my doctor this morning and I got a message back saying... Um, she said, um, well, her nurse sent me a message saying, when was, she, the symptoms I gave her were nausea, breast pain, dizziness, bloating, cramping, and lower back pain. Um, and she said, those are symptoms of pregnancy, which kind of gets me a little hopeful, but at the same time, could be symptoms of having your period so but you know I've been checking every time I go to the bathroom I know it's the TMI but every time I go to the bathroom after either front or back after I wipe I always look because I want to make I want to know what's going on with my body what's coming out so I'm always looking and if it looks strange I'll actually examine it so I'm not gonna like taste it or anything it's disgusting but like I'll look at it and see like smell it or look like really really look at it to see what it looks like and if it looks really really strange and I need to show my doctor I'll just take a picture of it and when I go to the doctor's office I'll just show them even though no I know it sounds nasty but I need to know I'm the type of person that I need to know exactly what's going on with me so um I've been checking every time I go to the bathroom and no there is no bleeding I did have body Oh Lord, what day did I have spotting? The 20th, I remember. Yeah, the 20th of November, which was five days ago, I spotted. Um, actually, it was weird because I took my best friend grocery shopping, went like that Wednesday, uh, that night, I mean, the 19th, I took a grocery shopping. Came home, made dinner, I was tired, exhausted, cranky, went to the bathroom, peed, wiped, and there was a very light, light pink. I was like, dang, I'm starting my period. I was so pissed. I just went straight to sleep. I actually ate something and I went to sleep. That was midnight. Um, and then I... Um, that was midnight. So that was basically first thing in the morning of the 20th. It was it had just became Thursday. Um, I went to sleep. I didn't go to school. No. I don't think I went to school that day. Nope, I didn't go to school that day. I don't think we had school that day. I don't know, but I wasn't. No, we didn't have school that day because it was stuff at the holiday. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta fix my hair. So I went to. It needs to be washed. It's getting really long. It's getting pretty long. It was a lot shorter um, before, but it's getting long. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point is about my possible pregnancy. So. Um, <sighs> I'm tired. Um, so the 20th, like first thing in the morning, I noticed that like really, really, really light pink. And then that night, uh, actually at seven o'clock, I went back to the bathroom because all throughout the day, you know, I've been using the bathroom not often, but just whenever I had to go, I'll check nothing, check nothing, check nothing, check nothing. And um, and then around like seven, seven thirty, 
I went to the bathroom, I wiped, and it was mucusy, and it had like little strings of blood in it, just like really little. And it was, if you actually go on Google on images and put down implantation bleeding, it'll be that little uh, tissue paper with like the little tiny, like mucusy color, mucusy. Looks like like little mucus. Looks like uh, like like when you blow your nose too hard and it's clear mucus, but it has like little, little red blood in it. That's what it looks like. I know TMI. Sorry, but that's what it looks like. I am so thirsty. Um, excuse me, please. So. I had that um, mucusy color, not color, texture, but had a little blood in it. And I was like, this has to be implantation bleeding. Because we just did, you know, baby dancing. But we did baby dancing about an hour or so. And I had peed right after and I cleaned myself up. So it was not like it was from that. And if it was from that, it would have happened when I had to clean myself up. I would have seen it and I didn't see it. Um, oh my, no, I think my, my breasts are hurting. They're, I don't want to use pain. They're aching. That's the difference. Like, people don't know the difference. I work at an urgent care. So when someone comes and says, I have chest pain. We're considering, like, it feels a little bit like bulging off my t-shirt. If, um, when they say chest pain, we're considering of, like, you know, heart attacks, stuff like that. So we get them in right away. But they mean is chest ache. So, same thing with my breast. It's not breast pain, it's breast ache. Um, I've been trying to see, like, as, like, the areolas are they getting bigger or are they getting darker and you know some some moments will be lighter some moments will be darker I don't know I really don't I, I don't think I'd be able to know it from that um and then I've been having a lot of CM that's it's like yesterday it's to the point where I'm like okay because I usually don't have to wear panty liners because I don't have problem with it but I had to go and buy the long pad, the long panty liners because it was getting to the point where it's a lot. It's I'm like, what is this? Um, and it's watery. So I'm like, and I know it's not typical, you know, vaginal discharge or anything like that because, you know, like I said, I work at an urgent care and I see that day in and day out. So. I know it's not like a BV or yeast infection, and I know for sure it's no STD. Because if there is, I might need some bail money. So I know it's not an STD. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I can't tell you what it is, um, but I do have a lot of CM. And this CM actually started Friday, between Friday and Saturday. It, the C, a lot of CM started then. Uh, like, like I said, like I know this is a little TMI, but yesterday, sorry, I'm looking at the watch because I have to be at work by four, and it's two forty-five. No, work not too far from here. So, on. Yesterday, Monday, um, when I went to the bathroom, when I got home, I was like, did I pee on myself? It was a lot of CM. And I was like, okay. Because I thought I had no more panty liners left. But I found, like, I have just a little pack, but they're, they're really small ones. But I'm like, I'm going to have to get the big ones because it's a lot. And, um. It's just, that's weird. I've never had that much CM before. Um, 
I've had yeast infection before, but it was to the point like when it first starts the itchingness, and then you know I'll just ask one of the doctors to give me Diflucan. I take that, I'm fine. But I never actually had the discharge that comes out with it. But this time it's just it's like I feel like a faucet of CM, and um, so I don't know. Um, and another symptom is. Um, well, let's see. I'm okay. I'm trying to be as detailed oriented as I can because some people actually don't. Um, some of the videos I've seen are not detailly oriented on exactly what it looks like, how it feels, if there's any smell to it, um, texture, and how long, whatever. So, um, I know it's TMI, but it had like it has a very, very faint smell to it um but like you can't really smell it from me like if you no know, I'm taking a shower or whatever then I'll notice it but other than that like I haven't received any complaints from nobody um so and uh third was first <laughs> second of all is like I said the, the breast not paint is ache um cramping. I have been cramping since Saturday. Um, today is not that bad. Yesterday it was pretty bad. Um, cramping, bloating, and back pain. Okay, so let's take cramping. Cramping is on both sides of my ovaries. Um, and the, like, all throughout the abdominal area. I'm cramping up. I know, you know what cramping feels like. Just like, you know, right before you get your menstrual, you get your cramps. That's how it feels like. Um, bloating. It just feels like I've been pumped with gas. Like right before you get your menstrual. That's how it feels. And I said, and lower back pain. Um, sometimes I get lower back pain if I have done a lot of work that day. Like, you know, up and down, up and down. Like picking something up. Like if I'm like doing detail cleaning and I'm like constantly bending down and constantly picking stuff up, bending down, picking stuff up. Then like if I'm doing extensive work um, I, I walked all day, yeah, then you get your back pain, but I'm having throughout day back pain. Um, what else? Uh, and the back pain feels like twisted, like something like being twisted. That's what it feels like. Um, nausea does not have to, it doesn't have to do with food doesn't have to do with anything, it's just like getting nauseous, just, just getting nauseous. Mm. I'm still dealing with a slight cold, but I've seen, um, I have asthma and I have allergies, so I'm not sure if this has to do anything with possibly being pregnant, because some people say that they get like a very light cold symptom, like, when they first got pregnant, but... I have allergies and have asthma, so I couldn't tell you. It could be any of those. Um, um, what I tell her, I said, back pain, nausea, abdominal cramping, abdominal bloating, nausea, and dizziness. Dizziness to the point where I have to hold on to something. That's how dizzy I've been getting. Um, that's about it. Oh, yeah, and the food or drink um, aversion is Pepsi. Um, before, I used to be um, a Pepsi fiend. To the point where I would drink Pepsi about twice a day every day Monday through Sunday um, unless I'm determined not to leave the house that day and then my mom off on um, that I always have Pepsi um, it's been two weeks since I had Pepsi I have no desire for Pepsi honestly I just don't want any of it I just don't want it and I mean, that's not me usually I'll you, if, if for other cases, you would see me with the Pepsi right now, with a big bottle of Pepsi, 
or some type of of um drink. Um but it was a ginger I've had that ginger for like four days. Um and I've been keeping it in the refrigerator and stuff. But um had it for like four days. I'm still not done with it. Um I've been drinking more water and I've been drinking more of iced tea and like um uh, one of the like shake up things you put in the water bottle and shake it up at work I've been drinking that and tea I've been drinking regular hot tea but if I'm pregnant I need to stay away from caffeine um I haven't been craving nothing else you know food wise nothing really have changed I don't want um I don't know, it just haven't really changed so the thing where I'm kind of doubting if I am is that all these symptoms I've mentioned besides the Pepsi part um, could affiliate with getting your AF. So, or your menstrual, if you don't know what AF means. So, I'm not sure. The only way I will find out is if my doctor, I'm actually going to try to see if my doctor has um my chart, if my doctor has emailed me back um oops okay if my doctor has emailed me back saying yes or no so let me let's check I'm actually doing that as we speak on my um, laptop. Uh, so it's about to be three. No, so I had just emailed her, so she has not gone back to me yet. View copies of physician letter. No. Let's see. Um, Test results. Let me see if she has ordered it. No. So, no test has been ordered yet. Um, either she's going to call me tomorrow because that's when she's usually there, or they're going to email me saying we ordered your blood test tomorrow. And if they did, I probably won't take it until like next Wednesday or next Friday. Not this Friday coming up, but then the following Friday. But I will let you guys know on what happens. So, um, thank you for watching. And please have a safe and, and good holiday. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.